Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. Today is Monday the 23rd, yes, and I'm running a little behind. I tried to get this recorded before the weekend. We had a really busy weekend and yesterday my grandson turned one year old. So do you want to see a picture? Let's see. <laughs> Here he is eating some his birthday cake. Look at that. Look at that face. Anyways, um, and and my youngest son's sweet little girl, sweet little girlfriend. She's she, they've been together for five years, probably a little longer. Her grandpa died, and so it's just been kind of a long weekend. And so anyway, I'm running behind, so this might get up today. It might not. I don't know. We're currently working on the Simply Magical portrait version, and we are making a hybrid uh, version where we're using the elastic binding. So I have a playlist that uh, starts with the introduction to the templates, and it is specifically for this album, and we are using the paper collection Meal by Frank Garcia and Prima. Um, you can use whatever paper collection you want. That's just the one that I happen to pick for this particular project. And this is where we've gotten so far. We've got our covers made, right? We've got a soft fabric spine. We've got the elastic binding, uh, the little hybrid version, uh, the accordion elastic, and then we have this little page here. So this was the last video you saw. So I think we're gonna do something right here in this video, but first, the playlist for this exact album, I will link it up here and down below in the description box. So if you want to start from the beginning, a lot of people don't know that when you when you watch a playlist, it'll go take you in order. And there's also a section in your YouTube that has your history. So if you have lost where you left off, you can also go back to your history and see. And then if you went back to that playlist to see, it'll show you which ones you've watched already. So uh, a lot of times they, they kind of move that stuff around sometimes. I don't understand it, but they do. But Hey guys, I started to film uh, a, 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 a video for the album to do the next uh, section. We're going to do this section <laughs> next. And I started in my normal, usual way. And then I wanted to talk to you guys about the butterflies that I found. But I talked for like 15 minutes, so we're just going to separate this video out. How about that? We're going to have a special little butterfly video. <laughs> so I'm going to be using some of these butterflies in the project that we are currently working on, which is the Simply Magical portrait version. And we're using the Meal Paper Collection. And I had asked you guys uh, if you knew of any butterflies, digital butterflies that I could print off that went with this collection, because I feel like we're going to need some butterflies. And before that video even went public, I went down a rabbit hole on Etsy and I bought three sets of butterflies and I'll also have all these butterflies linked down below for you guys if you want to check them out. So I shared one of them with you guys already but I wanted to show you the three that I bought. Um, they're all digital, they're not expensive and they're from three different shops so I just thought I wish and, and not only did did I go down that rabbit hole but I also had to make a special book for them. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that in a second. Let me show you. Let me show you the butterflies that I purchased. So the first one I found. Oh, and I also used my brother scan and cut. I also used it to cut all these butterflies out. So far, um, I haven't got everything cut out, but but anyway, I thought I would show you. These are kind of cool, though. Wouldn't that be kind of a a neat little stencil? That'd be kind of neat. Anyway. So the first one is, this is the Floral Butterfly Fussy Cuts from My Porch Prints. And this is the one I've already shared with you guys. But I love this. There's like all these pretty like florals inside. So this one is the variety page, but I'll show you exactly what comes in. All these are linked down below as well. Um, the first time I did the fussy cut, I didn't do the fussy cut, and the brother scanning cut did it. It cut that one's little head off. <laughs> I was like, whoops. Still a learning curve. I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's just, it's just, it's out of, it's, it's not my usual, so it's hard for me <laughs> to, to uh, try to figure out that kind of thing. Okay, so there's the variety page. 
And then they also come in all these different color ways. So this one just seems like it's kind of like a, oh, and this is also printed on my inkjet, so it's a little bit more muted, where my laser would be really m much more dense uh, in color. I don't know if I printed it out on my laser. Oh, looks like I did. Let me see if I can find the comparison. Well, maybe I didn't. Oh, and there's also a freebie that comes with these butterflies. I don't know if it always comes with the butterflies, but so there's my laser printer and there's my inkjet. So you can kind of see a little bit of a difference in the vibrancy and stuff, but I, I like the muted. I like the muted uh, for most things. I don't know why. I've always been kind of like that. So, <laughs> so anyway, so then here is kind of like a vintage. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be. Uh, just like a cream neutral color, but then there's like a yellow color, but it looks a little bit different. Oops, sorry, my camera shut off. Um, this was the last page that I think I showed. It's kind of supposed to be like a yellowy version. Um, and then here is like, it's either green or teal, but super pretty. And then this one's like a blue or teal. I don't, I don't know which. <laughs> uh, this one's a blue, this one looks like a teal. It's hard to tell the difference, but uh, once you get them cut out and they're side by side, um, I don't know why, but it does seem like it's a big difference. So then there's a blue colorway and then there's a purple colorway. Look at this. It's so stinking beautiful. So pretty. I love it. And then this one's a pink color. And I'm not sure what color this is. I think it's supposed to be like a gray. I don't know. I'm not really sure. So you get all those different colorways, and then there was a free sheet of postcards, which I thought were really pretty that came with it. I don't know if it always comes with it, but anyways. So let's just quickly go through the inkjet version. And this is on paper, too. That was on cardstock, the other ones. So you can see the different... Well, I don't know how well you can tell, but... They're so pretty, you guys. They're so pretty. Might be fun to print two to a page. Oh, whoop. To get even smaller butterflies. But let me show you the other ones that I found before we do that. There's a more neutrally. And then there's like the, the special gift for you from my Porsche prints. So, all right. So we got those, and I did a whole bunch of fussy cutting. I didn't. My brother Scan and Cut did. I've got that linked in my Amazon. Um, if you want me to, I can link. I got it. I've got a special Amazon list for this project. But if you want me to, I can link it just directly on its own down there in the description box. There's tons of links down there. And then this one is called. Um, I don't know what the actual listing was called. But uh, I did the same thing. My brother scan and cut. This one's from Tanya's Handmade SE. At least I think it's her name is Tanya's Handmade. But these are so pretty. Well, look how large they are. They're huge, and she you you can get them in different colorways. So this one happened to come in the pink and green combo. So, but look how pretty these are. Again, this is on my inkjet. And then here's the pink. Right. And then look at this. So then she's got sheets where there's all different sizes of the same butterfly. So you could layer them if you want to. But look at all those sizes. Look at all of those. They're so pretty. And then there is the more peachy pink color. Right. And then I did do this one too to a page just because I wanted to see what different sizes I could get, even though there was already a ton of sizes. So that's two to a page, which it's a good size. And then I did four to a page, so that's even smaller, right? So that did all four of the, of the uh, big ones there. So, and then I think, I, yeah. And so there's the difference. Okay, look, let me, let me set this down. This is the difference between my inkjet and my laser. I know y'all can see the difference in that. Can you see? 
so my inkjet doesn't put down as much yellow, but look how pretty those are, right? So yeah, so that's uh, what they look like on my laser. There's the page of those all different sizes. There's the peachy pink color, right? Super pretty, okay. So I have these cut out. I have my brother scan and cut, cut these out. Let me put this back. And then I haven't cut these out yet, but look at this. This one is, I thought these might be fun to print onto uh, colored paper or, or even maybe even watercolor or maybe even used our distress inks. This one is from Tracy Fox, black and white fussy cut butterflies, right? So aren't those pretty? And then there's another page. That's not the same page, right? No, there's another page. And look at how big these are. These are huge, huge. And then you also get these where they're like, there's a bunch of labels with butterflies on them. So I thought that was pretty clever, right? And plus black and, I've really been enjoying black and white embellishments adding into my projects. So I need to get my uh, brother scanning cut to, I need to put all these in there so that I can have these ready to go. Now let me show you. The book I made. So this here is made from the Basically Amazing add-on scrap journal and I have uh, I made it the exact same way hang on I'm grabbing it the exact same way I made my ephemera keeper right so I have a whole playlist on how I made this and I will link it up here in the cards and down below and this one I made it using the C size and then I kind of modified it. So I took the mat for the page and I took the one that has the four slots and I kind of added a slot in between because of all the different sizes of butterflies. And you'll see that in just a second. So I made me a quick cover. I printed off my butterflies, my butterflies background on a bunch of pages, a front and back. And um, I made myself a little butterfly ephemera keeper. All right. So the first ones are the my porch prints. So there's the multicolored one. And then there's like the blue and the green. Look at I did sew the pockets. Um yeah, I did sew each pocket, so they're not glued. They're not gonna tear. And I also used I also used this. This is matte film and it's not vellum so it doesn't tear so i've been using this for these types of things because it, it is a little bit more sturdy and i'll make sure it's linked in my amazon so there's like the blue and there's like the uh, that's probably i don't know it could be green teal then there's some purple and then there's the the pink right and then there's like the neutral and then the yellow i thought there was one that i didn't cut out i think i I don't know. We'll have to see. I didn't cut out all the pages. I'm not really sure which ones I didn't. And then here is the Tanya's Handmade Butterflies. So I cut one sheet of the larger ones. Or is that two sheets? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I cut one sheet of the larger ones and one sheet of the multi size. And I think some of the multi size ones are pretty big let me check yeah so the largest ones that are on the multi size pages are up here that's why it looks but look at i mean look look at look at that okay so there's the green ones and then all the different little set look at some of these are so tiny now my brother scanning cut didn't get all the get in there all that all that i had it kind of give it a little bit of leeway so I can, I can trim the little bitty bits of white off, but look at how cute. Okay. So then there's the peachy pink ones. Same with, I did one sheet of each of the large and one sheet of the multi sizes. Oh, these are the, these are Tanya's uh, from her paper. I was going to say paper dream, her purple dream paper collection that she, that she, that she did. And then I did the collaboration with the, little sister 
Simply Magical. So I've got her butterflies in here too, because these might work. Some of the greens in here might work, but if you've got that paper collection, you know, you can use those instead. And then um, I left some pages for the, the black and white. So I need to get these cut out and I'm gonna add them here. So this is gonna be my butterfly ephemera keeper for this project. What do you guys think? This is not the cutest, cutest thing ever. Okay, you guys, be sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Be sure to let me know what you think of these butterflies. And don't forget to check the description box down below for all the uh, relevant links. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel if you are not already. And turn the bell notification on so you, they, the YouTube will let you know when I upload a video. And thank you guys so much for joining me today. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.